Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day so far. I'm doing things a little bit different today and I'm filming in the morning. I just feel like I've been putting this pressure on myself to go through my day and then film. But you know, if I wanna share a little thing, it could have been something that happened early in the morning or it could have been something that happened the day before. Um, stay tuned for me to share what little thing really made my day this morning. And I hope that you will share something with me as well. Now, if you are new to my channel, I just wanna welcome you. I don't say this often enough, but I would love it if you would subscribe and also hit the like button. Um, it's just one of those things that, yes, I get annoyed when people ask for that as well. But it's one of those things that your channel just doesn't grow, if, I guess, if you don't ask for it. And um, other people, the videos that you make aren't suggested to other people if there isn't that kind of interaction. So doing that, leaving a comment below, something about yourself, something that you loved that happened to you today or last night, I would love to hear about it. And also, hopefully you will engage in this conversation that we are going to have about thin hair, hair loss, and also just um, our hair changing as we age. And I say that because I got this question from Stella and she wrote, in one of your videos, once you mentioned that you were dealing with hair loss, well, I have noticed that your hair is full of life and radiant and much longer and fuller. Have you been taking vitamins for that? What's your secret? I have been having problems with hair loss and it's just not shiny and young looking like it used to be. Any advice would help. So Stella, I just want to let you know that there are so many of us that struggle with this. We struggle with seeing, you know, women that just have long, luscious, beautiful, healthy hair. And especially those of us who basically have genes that don't allow us to have thick, you know, beautiful hair or I should say thick and you know, uh, full of life kind of hair because um, I think, I mean, since I have struggled with this myself, I have started changing my view on beauty when it comes to hair. And I think that thinner hair can just look very beautiful and there is a certain beauty to it that even those with thicker hair, um, you know, don't get to enjoy as much. And I talked about some of the positive aspects of having thinner hair in that one video. I'm going to link that video in my description box below. And really what it was about was coming to terms with the fact that I had thinner hair. And when I started using the extensions that I had started using after I started my channel, um, I noticed several issues coming about where it felt like it was pulling out my hair and I just uh, noticed so much breakage and it made my hair even thinner feeling than it was when I had started. So, um, you know, I went through a moment of just feeling sorry for myself and all this sadness and I shared that in that one video if you want to go back and look at that. So when I decided to get rid of my hair extensions, um, it felt really good. And it was after reading one of Jennifer L. Scott, Scott's books from The Daily Connoisseur that I just felt this freedom of being able to let go of it and just embrace what I had. Now, I think a lot of people will take that to uh, mean that therefore I have to let go of all of these different things and you know well Nikki why would you put on lashes now and why would you do this and that well you know we all do different things we all choose something that we're going to do or unless you are just going to do nothing but I am more of a person that likes to try different things. I like to see different things that may enhance uh, my beauty in different ways. And I'm okay with that. But then there are certain things that I've tried and that I don't want to do. And you know, we all have to make those decisions. And so that is just kind of where I am at. I'm, I don't uh, want to try hair extensions anymore. I've been there, I've done that, I've tried that, and I didn't like what it did for my hair. And so I just let that go. And um, what I chose to do after was just to 
wash it like normal. I did start using a uh, shampoo and conditioner, which I'm going to link in the description box below, and it's by Nioxin. And one of the things that I realized was that my, my scalp wasn't very healthy at the time. I had a lot of dandruff, you know, I just had dry scalp. And um, using the Nioxin really helped with my scalp health. And um, I just use the number one, and it's for normal to thinning hair. And I have very fine hair. I also have patches that are just not very full. And so sometimes I can even see it in some of my videos, you know, where my scalp is showing. And so, you know, it's just one of those things that you have to learn to live with in some regard. I don't go to great lengths to try to um, do all of these different things like serums and you know different things that you could do. I've heard of castor oil. I've heard of so many different things that you can do. Um, what I'm just doing is using Nioxin, but recently I started using the Suave, the avocado and coconut oil, I think it is. Um, I will link that in the description box below as well. I started using that because I noticed that um, by using Nioxin all of the time, um, I just, I don't know if it was a buildup of oil or what it was, but I just have such an oily scalp that um, I have to wash my hair every single day. I don't use any of the um, dry shampoos. I just don't like what it does to my hair. I don't like the, the film that it leaves on the hair. I don't care for a lot of things about uh, dry shampoo. So I am one that does wash my hair every single day. And you know, I also got plenty of questions about how do I bathe? How do I um, take care of my hair? So that will be something that I will also cover today and share with you my process for doing that. But um, just know that sometimes it takes trial and error finding different products that work for you. So I like to switch between um, just a simple shampoo that can kind of strip my hair of all of the oils and then the Nioxin to just help with my scalp health in general. And I also use a spray, which is part of the system of the Nioxin that helps with that scalp health. And um, I just really hope that that helps you. I try to get um, hair trim, my hair trimmed frequently, at least uh, six to eight weeks. Now that has been harder over, you know, with all of all of the things that have been going on. But um, just trying not to overly damage my hair because my hair is so fine that my hair can break off very easily. Now back when I, you know, took out the hair extensions, which were just clip-in by the way, it wasn't something that was you know, where they sewed it in or anything like that. Um, I just had a nice haircut to get like a little bob and then that way I could just let my hair grow. And so that's what I've been doing. And then um, more recently to try to not use heat as much because with doing videos, with just wanting to look very feminine and, and feel like my hair is done, I had been curling my hair quite a bit. And so I do have a lot of breakage right now. So what I'm trying to do is put my hair up more and not curl all this stuff in the back. And if I do want some curls, then I will just, um, you know, do the ones right up front. Um, and I think I'm going to be, especially in the winter or the fall months, I like to wear my hair up more because when I have a coat, it can just get caught in there and it you know, doesn't look as nice. And um, because my hair is thinner, to me, it just doesn't look as nice having it down as much. But you know, I will here and there. But anyway, just uh, putting my hair up. And I mean, this took me two bobby pins and then I have a clip in here that I also have linked in the Shop My Life link, which if you have recently tried clicking on my Shop My Life link and all you see were slips, I've recently tried to fix that. So um, in this video, if you click that link, you'll see some of those items that I like and a lot of the clips that I've recently purchased from Target within the past year. Um, a lot of them have pearls on them and you know just using different things to try to draw attention to that instead of the fact that maybe you don't have this this you know 
all of this hair um, is something that would be a great way to uh, just showcase your hair a little bit differently. So that's what I've been doing, just trying different things. I would say for hairstyles, I like more of a romantic look and you know with wispy um, curls and just not so structured of you know not really prim and proper hair um, but more of that romantic effortless kind of look but then just putting it up i feel um looks better for me because i don't have a like just really thick long hair so anyway just doing that trimming it frequently and then um, trying to lay low of all of the heat. I try to do more pin curls, but then of course the pin curls don't last me as long. But um, yeah, really that's about it. That's what I try to do. And as far as taking care of my hair, I have been washing it every day because like I've said in earlier, um, I have very oily hair. And when you have thin hair, if you don't do something where you are either using um, the dry shampoo, which I just don't like all that product buildup, and I don't know, something about that I just don't care for. Um, and I love the smell of freshly washed hair. And let me tell you, I have a very strong nose. So I can tell when anybody hasn't washed their hair. I can tell when they're using uh, something like a a dry shampoo as opposed to having washed their hair. And I feel that way with myself too, that I can smell my own hair. I can smell, um, you know, my kids when they haven't showered in one day or something like that. And so that kind of thing is very important to me. And um, when it comes to bathing, because I did get some questions about this, which um, Stella, I hope that that answered your question. And um, I know that as we age, our hair is not as um, full of life or, you know, it just doesn't have that youthful look. So sometimes adding different oils maybe to the ends of your hair will be helpful. But I just hope that, you know, what I had to share could have been of some benefit to you. Sometimes it just takes trying out different products to see what works best for you. My hair is nothing like it was when I was in my 20s and you know when I was a, when I was having children and my hair was a lot thicker even though I had thinner hair in comparison to a lot of my friends. Um, but looking back at pictures, I mean my hair was at its prime when I was having children. So as far as vitamins go, I'm sorry. I, I just feel like I'm trying to cover all of these um, questions. But um, as far as vitamins go, I was taking the um, biotin, you know, that hair and nails. Um, but I also noticed that when I was taking that frequently, it was almost as if my nails weren't growing as long as quickly as they did when I was just taking just my normal um, everyday vitamin. So I don't know what that had to do with, but um, I was taking that for a while. So if you did notice a difference, and now I just recently ran out of that. So today when I go to the grocery store, or when I go to Target, I'm going to pick up some more of that. And um, maybe I'll even link it in the, in the Shop My Life link. But I had been using that for a couple of months. So maybe that has something to do with it, but I personally don't feel that there has been a difference with my hair. So let's get on to um, these other questions. I got a question from Jody Peters that said, when you use oil in your bath, do you wash your hair in that water? And then Michelle uh, Scarberry said, how often do you take an actual bath as opposed to a shower? So, I take a bath, I use this bathtub right here every single day, whether it's in the evening or in the morning. But since it's been getting colder, I have been bathing in the evening time because I just find that, um, you know, I've, I've been up, I've been doing my things, and then I'm just ready for a nice hot bath before I go to bed. I don't fill it to the top. I just, you know, run some hot bath water and, um, and then I usually just sit in there 
and I won't wash my hair. Typically, I don't like going to bed with my hair wet. So um, usually, usually I will save washing my hair for the morning because um, I need to have my hair freshly washed for it to be at its best. I did a video on, I think it was Monday, where um, I spoke with my patrons. I had washed my hair the night before, and then I didn't wash my hair that morning. And I hated how my hair looked, how it felt. It was just really odd. I felt like I could see oil in my hair in that video. And then before I did my video for, for YouTube, I washed my hair. And um, what I do is I just bend over in this, sh in this bathtub right here and I just use the um, detachable sprayer to wash my hair. And that works out best for me, I find. So taking a bath in the evening, you know, make sure that I wash my whole body and then in the morning I will then wash my hair with the sprayer. Now, during the summertime when I was taking a bath, um, I was bathing in the morning time and also um, I would use the sprayer just when I would wash my hair. So that would be, you know, just, it's, it's all fine to me because <laughs> when I would sit there in the morning, the bath water would rise as I, you know, just shower off. Um, it, it may be a weird way of doing it, but we don't have the shower hooked up like a shower shower where it's on the wall but it would still do the same thing um, if you sit in a bathtub and i feel that you actually get a better clean uh, when you do that when you can soak a little bit and um you know there have just been so many things where it says bathing is actually a lot better than showering because you allow your body to soak a little bit and you know you can scrub your body and get all of all of those dead skin cells off and and it just I don't know it just uh, is better to me and I feel like my skin has been a lot better since I started bathing as opposed to showers every day so that's really what I do like I said when I put oil in the bath I'm not washing my hair in that uh, water and then also because we have that shower head I can just wash my hair and it not get in the water so I hope that that answers your questions um, many people may say that oh it's such a waste of water to take a bath but like I said when I would bathe um, I would just use that water like a shower and whatever water filled up would just be the water that like I wouldn't wait to get into the bath once the water was filled, if that makes sense. I turned it on, I got in when the water was probably about that much and it was really warm in there. And then um, just, you know, bathe the rest of the time as usual as I would in a shower. So everybody has different ways. And I actually learned that the Royals just take baths. That was something that somehow came across um, my I think my Google or, or something like that. It was in one of those stories. So that was, that was an interesting fact. Um, but anyway, I hope that answers your question. Now I would like to share a little thing that made my day. I think this video got pretty long today, but um, a little thing that made my day was that last night we brought in the Christmas tree, Jorge brought in the Christmas tree, and we started to decorate, but we haven't finished yet. Um, because it got kind of late and then I had to go over and um, watch my Grammy while, while my mom went into work. And so we didn't get done doing that, but this morning, I think it was, this, no, it was last night when I got home. I changed where my desk was because it was on the same wall where that uh, buffet table was. And then I changed it because we ended up changing where our couch was so that it could be facing the fireplace. That's just one of the ways that I love to have my couch during the winter time. And it's perfect for where we place the Christmas tree. And I decided to also change the location of my desk because when we walk around that couch, there just wasn't that much space to get then get into the kitchen. And it would have been way too crowded. So I kind of did a flip-flop. I did it on the wall where the couch was. So I 
when I came home today to, um, you know, just do a little bit of desk work and do my journaling and, and uh, just some things that I needed to do, I really enjoyed the new placement of my desk. And you know, sometimes when you just change things around, it just offers a new perspective and you feel like everything is new and had the Christmas tree lights on and it just started to feel, I started feeling that warm and cozy feeling and I really liked um, the perspective that I had when I was sitting at my desk. So that was a little thing that really made my morning. So please let me know in the comments below, number one, if you struggle with hair loss or you know thinning hair or just thin hair in general and um, what you do to mitigate that and then also um, how you how you like to style your hair if you do have thinner hair. And then as well as something that made your day today. I would love to hear all about it. So I hope you enjoyed this chat. And if you have any other questions about, you know, anything beauty or self-care related, please leave those in the comments below. And next week I will try to um, answer one of those questions. And I hope that all of you enjoy the rest of your day. I look forward to going and getting some new roses today and all of the different things that I am going to be doing on this errand day. So until next time, I hope that you all take care and we will talk tomorrow. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.